The US is rapidly approaching the date at which the government can no longer pay its bills, also known as the X date. Republican and White House negotiators are moving closer to an agreement to raise debt limit and cap federal spending for two years, though a deal is yet to be struck. Now, even getting close to a breach of the US debt ceiling has in the past caused significant disruptions to financial markets in the US with global spillovers. The delay in reaching a deal has strengthened the dollar index, which has put downward pressure on the INR. Stock markets too might feel the heat and any business with exposure to the US market might also be wary. With pressure on US sovereign yields, the ripple effect cannot be ruled out entirely on domestic yields. So far, domestic factors continue to outweigh global ones in Indian financial markets. Now let's have a look at the alternate and unlikely scenario, that of a default. No deal and a default will obviously be a negative for India as flows will move out of risk assets, but it will also depend on how much the US government will be forced to cut spending and where. That's according to Suvadeep Rakshit, senior economist at Kotak Institutional Equities. If that has the effect of a deep recession, there are multiple repercussions for India's capital and trade flows. To be sure, this situation is speculative, he said. Radhika Pandey of NIPFP also said that the default can have catastrophic consequences. For instance, Indian exports can plummet further, there can be changes in trade patterns, and non-US trade can gain impetus. Sectors having exposure to the US can see a hit to their earnings. Yield differential between Indian and US bonds can narrow further, leading to implications for foreign portfolio investment flows, according to Pandey. That's just a taste of what can happen. If history is anything to go by, this event has become more of a political slugfest rather than an economic one. For more, stay tuned to BQ Prime.